if you are on this unpopular opinion, you are sentenced to 100 strokes of cane. 100 ta 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 Whip lashes. Hello beautiful besties, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here, I am the Ima and Miss Ima if you haven't seen this beautiful face before or what have you been doing, where have you been? Today I'm going to be giving my popular opinion that really should be popular Here I have some fresh watermelonade She a little bit shower um, But we're going to do it like mukbang style I made this like really delicious Okra soup in it Mmm I wrote it down because my brain don't be braining sometimes, okay? So let's get into it because we don't have time to waste. Y'all just acting crazy. Y'all not acting okay. And let me tell you something. If you're of this unpopular opinion, you are sentenced to 100 strokes of cane. 100 ta 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 Whip lashes. Number one, we already know that couple pages are cringe because like But then some of y'all take it to another level You know those couple channels that are for pranks? Okay, so imagine you're just on like TikTok, you're scrolling and you see a prank And it's like, oh, um, pretending to be on the phone with another man whilst my boyfriend is there, right? So you see that video the first time, you're like, oh my god, that's funny And then you open their page and it's a bunch of those type of videos oh, Ew, y'all disgust me Ah, them. A disgusting and them ah, disgusting shit. If you think they're cute, if you don't think they're crazy, you probably have blue, not red blood. You're not normal. I know influencers do a lot of crazy things, being that I'm an influencer. But how did you every day set up the camera? He pretends to come in, you sit down there, and you pretend to do a prank. It's giving serial killer, it's giving psycho. I feel like they're not real, they feel like a fever dream, like they're so dystopian. There's this one really popular lady. There's this one really popular lady. At first I thought, oh my god, yeah, quirky content. But surely your husband cannot be shocked for the 500th time. It's so cringe! It itches my skin, my skin is crawling. Stop, stop, stop it! You're not even convincing yourself. You deserve 1,000 lashes. Ta, ta, ta! And you know what, it's so crazy. Like, at some point the, re the reactions are so rehearsed, it reminds me of that, wow! Oh my god, meme like <laughs> be so serious right now, okay? Number two, this one's gonna upset people, but I don't care. Mmm, talking shit about rich people. <sighs> you know, no billionaire is a billionaire without somebody being maltreated. I'm not gonna talk about my like, views on communism. I'm a liberal, but I believe y'all taking it too far. Let's cha 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 more working to make your life better. How about that? Because half the time, y'all don't really hate rich people. Y'all just hate the fact that you're not rich. Y'all just hate the fact that you're not rich. <laughs> because I want to know what you have done in your in your little capacity to break classism. I want to know what have you done. And you're like, oh my god, he did a wedding that cost like one billion dollars. There's so many hungry people. How many people have you donated to? How many people have you fed this month? Or how much? How many times have you bought consciously conscious fashion? Or you just like you just like to talk on the internet? No, you don't hate capitalism enough. You just hate the fact that you're poor and that's allowed. But don't mark it as I hate capitalism and I hate rich people. No, you don't. You don't. And you know what I don't get? And I think this thing kind of translates into like influencers and whatnot, right? So people see influencers living lavish lives online and first thing with that is I hate, I don't get people who complain about that because you build your algorithm, you build your FYP. If you are not interested in Nara Smith, you can click not interested and TikTok will never show you Nara Smith ever again. But you consciously allow yourself to watch Nara Smith and go on her page and complain about how she's setting on real standards and influencers are self -fake. I think it's like a different point but like under the same point but like just hating her because she's rich is not gonna make you rich it's not gonna make her poor if anything it's gonna make her richer if you spent half of the time you did hating on people that are successful to brainstorm to jig this your stone brain maybe <laughs> just maybe because we're not sure because we all know how hard it is to be successful mm-hmm 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 and to stay successful Mm -hmm. Especially when you haven't been handed anything down. Granted, everybody's path in life is not the same. Some people have it easier than others. But I'm so sick and tired of my stomach of you guys just sitting out every day. Why don't do more act active stuff? 
to actually fight for what you believe in as opposed to just sit down on the internet and just talk shit all day that's all you do you just talk shit all day come on come off it right i want you to tell me now in the comments that if you were offered jeff bezos's wealth fuck that if you were offered the wealth of if you're offered one million dollars you would say no i want you to tell me that with your big fat lying mouth right now exactly so shut up oh y'all piss me off this one is a money topic kind of related but not related that is number three you see you people that sit down every day and blame social media I, I saw something the other day about like kylie jenner talking about the fact that people bully her online which is not fair like bullying is not nice to anyone and people were like um, because you literally set unrealistic a bad, unrealistic a beauty standards that you deserve. What was she doing when she was saying unreal? Kylie Jenner did not set any standard for you. Like, I don't feel anything personal to her. I don't love her or anything. Like, but Kylie Jenner did not set any standard for you. You just have low self esteem. How about that? You have failed to get a reality check. Because I don't remember the last time Kim Kardashian was something I was looking up to being. I don't care. I do not care. Deal with that first. Nobody's setting any standard for you. That's my unpopular opinion. Beauty standards, lip fillers. Nobody online has made me want to get filler in my face. But you will see somebody get fillers once. I mean, like, oh my gosh, she has changed the beauty standard. Like, I, I can't even meet up to the beauty standard anymore because Kylie Jenner literally got like an eye lift. And now I have to get an eye lift. And if I don't get an eye lift, I'm going to you are sick in the head or you have no self-esteem i don't believe anybody is setting any standard i believe especially with social media you consume what you want like at the end of the day your for you page or your page is a reflection of you and the people you follow so sometimes let's not blame social media how many educational pages have you followed <laughs> how many history pages do you follow <laughs> you follow gossip pages and pages that expose celebrities that have done surgery back and forth and then you're like, oh my god, you know that it's like I just setting an area of beauty standards. Like, shut up, shut up. I don't know, I sound so pissed. Off. I get it. I get that social media does contribute like a lot um, in terms of what we see, what we consume. In this day and age where you can actually con control the media you consume because there's just so much out there. Like back in the day, there wasn't that much out there. And I get that. I get those conversations. But right now, there's body positive people. There's hair positive people. There's everybody on the goddamn internet. You chose to be interested in Kylie Jenner. It's the same thing with like influencers and like, oh, um, you know, saying like, people are setting like unreal standards with like nah smith like i'm a wife and a mother and you're making me feel bad because I, I can't wake up and do this like shut the hell up first of all nobody cares sandra nobody cares about what you do and don't do in your household okay you're not a content creator or an influencer number two this is nara smith's job nara smith never said if you don't behave like me then you're not okay as a wife and a mom but y'all be y'all be so insecure and every time you're not ashamed to show it like Cause you guys don't have any self-respect anymore you just come out and wah open your mouth and tell us all your self-esteem issues go fix yourself go fix yourself yeah you you go fix yourself next week i'm getting so hungry from all this talking you have to have it have a sub next one is respect your elders just because they're elders now i'm gonna start by saying everybody is deserving of respect until they are deserving of disrespect what does that mean everybody that respects me will get respect but if you talk anyhow you do anyhow you will collect anyhow if you disrespect me i don't care uh, wallahi i don't care if you're 120 years old or be me to sell be 700 900 years old you will collect disrespect from me especially like african and i think asian communities as well i think we enable we enable so much bad behavior from adults in the name of respecting all elders and stuff and honestly, respect should be given to every single human being because they're a human being, not because they're older. And if anything, if anything, actually, if anything, think about it. With all your years of experience on earth, you carry big age, big age, 70 years on earth. And you are still acting like someone that doesn't have sense. You not only do you deserve disrespect, you deserve a beating. Because how can me, a 20 something year old, have more sense than you? Actually, in fact, be very ready to disrespect elders. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put them in their very much so place. Because you can't be a nasty old racist ass with yellow teeth white woman at 70 expecting me to give you respect. I remember one time I was volunteering at this place and this white lady was so nasty to me. Um, and I, I was trying to pour coffee for her and I think she didn't like the fact that I was black. Said, this woman splashed the tea at me. Me, I splashed the tea at her back too. Everybody was now looking at me like, ah, 
You splash it. I said, did she splash it on me? Does she have sense? Me, I wanted to pour the hot water on her face. On her face. If I'm being honest, it's just that I'm there on a visa, and I know that they can send me back home. Tier four visa. I didn't want my parents after all their hard work, all the money they paid for me, I will not be sent back home. If not, I would have splashed the hot water on her face. Hmm. Hmm. Kenny, but rubbish. At your big 70, 80 years of age, you don't have sense. I, me, I will give you sense. Because honestly, you need to be sent to the grave early. That's what you deserve. Since you have refused all these ages, years, you're accumulating, accumulating. You do not accumulate sense. You need to be sent to the grave early. Dumb ass elders, be gone. Misogynistic ass elders that refuse to learn, be gone. Number five. This one is, it pains me so much. Honor the dead. Mm -hmm. Let me start by saying, first of all, I don't believe in elaborate burials. I know it's an unpopular opinion in the south of Nigeria, so I don't know about where you're from, but in Nigeria, we have like very elaborate burials. For what? I'm dead. I'm dead. Do you know what's so crazy, yeah? Children who have never given their parents a million will spend over a million for the burial. For random ass people, that don't care about you, didn't give a shit about you to come there and share that moment with you. I'm so sorry, I'm against those large flamboyant African burials to start with. So that's point 5A. Okay, any money you have to spend on burial, give it to me when you're alive. When I'm alive. If you have 50 million to spend on a burial, give it to me when I'm alive. Not when I'm dead or celebration of life, she was such a good woman. Some of you, your parents are in the village. Your grandparents are in the village, you've never given them one million. That's like a thousand dollars, by the way. And then you spend like 50 million on their burial. Waka, shege. Anybody that does that to me, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna die. In fact, if I'm, if I'm dead and in my burial, I'm seeing flamboyant, I'll rise up. I'm gonna make sure that the spirits beat every single person there because you guys don't have any sense. Don't do any large burial for me. If you can't give me the, 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 the money when I'm alive, if you can't celebrate me when I'm alive, don't do it. Just put me inside the sand. We are all gonna rot. Anyways. Part two, five B, honor the dead. Mm -hmm. Don't speak ill on the dead. Some of you will be sitting down writing, she was such a good woman, kind hearted, kind soul. Whole time she was a pedo. She was a pedo alive. She a pedo at death. Okay? Let's not get it mixed up. Let's not get it confused. My English teacher in high school to me was an absolute bitch. She was horrible, nasty. If I, for whatever reason, get invited, to her burial and I go there. Let alone the fact that I also thought she had a crush on my boyfriend, but let's 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 skip that. If I ever get invited to her burial and someone gives me, tell me to give a speech for whatever reason and I accept to God, I accept. Do you think I'm gonna sit there and say she was such a kind so I'm only gonna be praying for God to forgive her as she's dead so that she doesn't go to hell? Stop this, stop this, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Honor the dead if they are due for honor only. Do honor people that have been dishonoring people all their life. She was a gentle soul. On the altar of God, you are lying. You are lying. Giving yourself hellfire. You are lying. She was a gentle soul. Gentle where? It's gentility in the room with us. It's, it's being gentle in the room with us right now. So because she's she, the person has died now, we now have to start lying. Why? Number six. Uh, all the money cannot buy happiness, people. Mm -hmm. Money, money cannot buy happiness. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody that says that, you have only two options. Hmm? It's either we do a Salem witch trial, and we actually start burning all of you on a stake. Yeah, because you deserve to be burned. Or, you donate every single bit of money you have. That's the only way. That's the only way you can forgive people who make those statements. Yeah, this one's for the rich people. This one's for the rich people that say this one. Mm. Money doesn't buy happiness. Do you know that that's such a privileged thing to say? Money cannot buy all happiness. Okay? But neither can anything else. And even if there was something that could buy happiness, I'm sure as hell it ain't poverty. <laughs> Amen. Word, 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 word. I'm sure as hell it ain't poverty. Do you know what money can buy? A trip. To an extent, some good health. Have you eaten? Somebody that hasn't eaten today. Or has eaten only one meal. Or is living on one dollar a day. Are you going to go and tell them that money does not buy happiness? Like, your life is, your life is full. Full of what? Full of, do you know one thing I hate? Like when Western media media tries to portray that whole, they don't have much, but they are happy. I mean, I, I get it, I get it, but at the same time, like, shut up. Who told you they are happy? They are hungry. They are hungry. If they don't laugh, they will cry. If they don't laugh, they will cry. If they don't laugh, they will cry. So unless and until you have donated every single one of your wealth, or you have opted to be burnt on a stake, where we do the money does not buy happiness, which trial, hunt shut up fair, fair fair opinion right 
Yeah, 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 I think so. The next one, they don't want number one. All my sex positive people. Mm -hmm. You know, people love to cancel. Let me sit down well. Mm -hmm. Number one, sleeping around does not make you sex positive. It also doesn't make you a woman, woman's rights um, uh, baton bearer. Now, let's look at it this way. As much as your value is not tied to your vagina or your penis, anybody that has value for themselves as a person is not every Tom, Dick and Harry you see, you allow. Not for the sake of, um, of like purity politics, no. For the sake of your body is not a toilet, okay? It's not a toilet. It's not every shit that comes you take. And even if I was a toilet, there's some kind of shit I would say no thank you, okay? Being sex positive doesn't also mean you can't say no. Because why are we literally looking down on having self-control? Why? 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 And I would love to see more sex positive conversations followed by some of you have BV. You don't know it's your man that's giving you BV. Or the fact that you're more disposed to getting BV when you have egg, multiple sex partners. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just saying, can we have these conversations at the same time? So that people are knowing. How about getting your HPV vaccine? How about that? Because 80% of people in the, on earth will get HPV. You didn't know that, did you? Did you know that if you get a cold sore on your mouth, on your mouth, when you get malaria, it's actually not malaria. It's an herpes virus. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? These are the conversations I want to be had alongside the sex positive conversations. That's all I'm saying. That's not all I'm saying, but that's the second part of what I'm saying. Young girls, because my page is for the girls mostly. Young girls, a word is enough for the word. I'm not telling you to participate in purity politics. I'm not saying that your worth should depend on whether you're a virgin or not. I'm never asking anybody to be or not to be a virgin. I'm just saying there is a balance. Okay, there's a balance. There always has to be a balance, right? Into the of the two ends of the spectrum there has to be a balance and you're gonna have to find that balance yourself but you see this whole sex positive talk it's great but respect yourself i didn't say respect anybody i said respect yourself and also know the repercussions of wow a word is enough for the wise i have more should i do them should i do them mm. anyways thanks for coming to my problematic talk and i'll see you all in the next unpopular opinions because i have a lot more <laughs> let me know some of your unpopular opinions in the comments uh and we can have a little chit chat do you know what i mean bye bye